Have you ever wondered why you are different from your siblings? The answer lies within the amazing process of meiosis. What is meiosis? Meiosis is a process where a single cell divides twice to produce four cells containing half the original amount of genetic information. These cells are our sex cells, sperm in males, eggs in females. During meiosis, one cell divides twice to form four daughter cells. These four daughter cells only have half the number of chromosomes than the parent cell. They are haploid. Meiosis take place in germ or sex cells called gametes, eggs in females and sperm in males. Similar to mitosis, cells also pass through the interphase, G1, S and G2 phase before they enter meiosis. Here are the distinct phases of meiosis. Interphase, meiosis 1, cytokinesis 1, meiosis 2, cytokinesis 2. First at interphase. In interphase, DNA is copied resulting in two identical full sets of chromosomes to prepare for division. Outside of the nucleus are two centrosomes, each containing a pair of centrioles. These structures are critical for the process of cell division. In next step at meiosis 1, meiosis 1 takes place in following steps. Prophase 1. Prophase 1 is typically the longest phase of meiosis. During prophase 1, homologous chromosomes pair and exchange DNA. Homologous recombination. The new combinations of DNA created during crossover are a significant source of genetic variation and result in new combinations of alleles, which may be beneficial. The paired and replicated chromosomes are called bivalents, or tetrads, which have two chromosomes and four chromatids, with one chromosome coming from each parent. The process of pairing the homologous chromosomes is called synapsis. At this stage, non-sister chromatids may cross over at points called chiasmata, plural, singular chiasma. Prophase 1 has historically been divided into a series of substages, which are named according to the appearance of chromosomes. Leptotene. In this stage of prophase 1, individual chromosomes, each consisting of two sister chromatids, become individualized to form visible strands within the nucleus. Leptotene is of very short duration and it's when the progressive condensation and coiling of chromosome fibers takes place. Zygotene. Chromosomes approximately line up with each other into homologous chromosome pairs through synaptonymal complex. The paired chromosomes are called bivalent or tetrad chromosomes. Pachytene. This is the stage when homologous recombination, including chromosomal crossover, crossing over, occurs. Non-sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes may exchange segments over regions of homology. At the sites where exchange happens, chias matter form. Diplotene. The synaptonemal complex degrades and homologous chromosomes separate from one another a little. However, the homologous chromosomes of each bivalent remain tightly bound at chias matter. The regions where crossing over occurred, the chiasmata remain on the chromosomes until they are at the transition to anaphase 1. Diakinesis. It closely resembles prometaphase of mitosis. The nucleoli disappear. The nuclear membrane disintegrates into vesicles and the meiotic spindle begins to form. Synchronous process. During these stages, two centrosomes containing a pair of centrioles in animal cells migrate to the two poles of the cell. The microtubules invade the nuclear region after the nuclear envelope disintegrates, attaching to the chromosomes at the kinetochore. The kinetochore functions as a motor, pulling the chromosomes along the attached microtubule. Microtubules that attach to the kinetochores are known as kinetochore microtubules. Other microtubules will interact with microtubules from the opposite centrosome. These are called non-kinetochore microtubules or polar microtubules. Metaphase 1. Homologous pairs move together along the metaphase plate. The paired homologous chromosomes align along an equatorial plane that bisects the spindle. Anaphase 1. Kinetochore microtubules shorten pulling homologous chromosomes, which consist of a pair of sister chromatids, 
to opposite poles. Non-kinetochore microtubules lengthen, pushing the centrosome further apart. The cell elongates in preparation for division down the center. Telophase 1. The first meiotic division effectively ends when the chromosomes arrive at the poles. Each daughter cell now has half the number of chromosomes, but each chromosome consists of a pair of chromatids. The microtubules that make up the spindle network disappear, and a new nuclear membrane surrounds each haploid set. The chromosomes uncoil back into chromatin. Cytokinesis, the pinching of the cell membrane in animal cells or the formation of the cell wall in plant cells occurs, completing the creation of two daughter cells. Sister chromatids remain attached during telophase 1. Cells may enter a period of rest known as interkinesis or interphase 2. No DNA replication occurs during this stage. Meiosis 2 Meiosis 2 is the second meiotic division and usually involves equational segregation or separation of sister chromatids. Mechanically, the process is similar to mitosis, though its genetic results are fundamentally different. The end result of meiosis 2 is production of four haploid cells, N chromosomes, 23 in humans. The four main steps of meiosis 2 are prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, and telophase 2. In prophase 2, we see the disappearance of the nucleoli and the nuclear envelope again, as well as the shortening and thickening of the chromatids. Centrosomes move to the polar regions and arrange spindle fibers for the second meiotic division. In metaphase 2, the centromeres contain two kinetochores that attach to spindle fibers from the centrosomes at opposite poles. This is followed by anaphase 2, in which the remaining centromeric cohesion is cleaved, allowing the sister chromatids to segregate. The sister chromatids by convention are now called sister chromosomes as they move toward opposing poles. The process ends with telophase 2 which is similar to telophase 1 and is marked by the disassembly of the spindle and decondensation and lengthening of the chromosomes. Nuclear envelopes reform and cleavage or cell plate formation eventually produces a total of four daughter cells, each with a haploid set of chromosomes. Meiosis is now complete and ends up with four new daughter cells.